Grade 5 math number 45, zeros in the product. What happens when we multiply 10 times 10? We get 100, right? If we wrote it out, we could say 10 times 10 equals 100. Well, that's easy, right? Well, try the same thing with decimals because the same thing happens. 1 tenth times one-tenth equals one-hundredth. We're just putting th at the end of the words. One-tenth times one-tenth equals one-hundredth. Just like ten times ten is a hundred, a tenth times a tenth is a hundredth. Isn't that something? One-hundred times ten is a thousand, right? One-hundred times ten equals one-thousand. Well, one-hundredth times one-tenth is one-thousandth. See, one hundredth times one tenth is one thousandth. Same math, just on different sides of the decimal point. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind when you're multiplying with decimals. Okay. In the last video, we talked about how we know where the decimal point is going to be in the product by just counting the hops in the equation. If we had one and four tenths times three, there's one hop in the equation. So there's one hop in the product. See, it'll be four and two tenths. When there's two hops in the equation, there's going to be two hops in the product in the answer. See, if we multiply the one and four tenths by three tenths now, instead of three, we get 42 hundredths. There's two hops. When there's three hops in the equation, there's three hops in the product. Now we have 14 hundredths times three tenths. See, we move the decimal place over, so now there's one hop, two hop, three hop. So there's three hops in the product. But when we hop so far away from the numbers, we create an empty space that needs a placeholder. See? We hopped so far away from the four that there was an empty space here, and I needed to put a zero as a placeholder. And we know why I put a zero there, right? You know what I always say? You have to remember in math, zeros have no value, they're just placeholders. The decimal point tells us the product is supposed to be in the thousandths place. We need to stick something in that place to keep the four in the hundredths place from sliding over to the tenths place. Then the answer would be wrong. So how about a placeholder that has no value? That's perfect. Great idea. So we can stick a zero in there. That's the perfect thing to put in there. When we have four hops in the equation, there's four hops in the product. Now we had to put two zeros in there to keep the four from sliding over. Five hops in the equation is five hops in the product. I had to stick three zeros in there to keep the four from sliding over to the decimal point. See? So, the, the zero can hold the place, it has no value, and it's perfect. Okay? So remember, zero's our friend and he holds the place, even though he has no value. That's how we put zeros in the product of decimals when we're multiplying. Okay? I'll see you next video. I hope this helped. Bye!